Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. Hey friends out there, this is Tim Friend, just saying that this next game that we're going to be playing, Persona 5, uh, has some serious issues. I mean, not not that it has severe problems, but that it has uh, serious themes in it. Uh, they're pretty heavily dealt with, uh, and they are rape, abuse, and suicide. Uh, there might be more that I'm not remembering. Uh, I will try to give warnings like this up front if I see more in the future. Uh, but if you think that this might uh, harm you in some way, then uh, feel free to, to skip on over this video. Because uh, you got to take care of yourself, you know? I don't want you, I don't want to accidentally hurt anyone with these videos. So be sure to, to take care of yourself and stay safe out there, guys. And welcome back to Tim Friend. We have to go to bed. We have to go to a party with our friends. We have to have a nice time at a restaurant. I'm surprised we didn't get a little didn't didn't get a little uh, a little Igor in the velvet room uh, scene about the, the uh, Suguru Kamashita's confession. Oh, look at this! Mm. <laughs> so good. I love this. No wonder Lady An chose this place. Of course it's good. This is a famous hotel after all. Look at Morgana next to my left wrist. I'll do a little sniff around. Oh yeah. I heard that the police are coming to interview some people at school. Oh shit. That's troublesome. Yeah. Our names are gonna come up for sure. People are spreading all sorts of rumors about us and Kamoshida. No. But we got him pumped up. I keep hearing stuff like the Phantom Thieves really stole his heart. I think most people don't believe it, but some of them actually seem grateful. Well, that's something. Look at this. That's something. How can Aunt see that? The Phantom Aficionado website? Well done, Phantom Thieves. Now I can keep going too. Thank you for giving us hope. Oh. That's nice. Pretty cool, huh? It is pretty cool. I was just desperate to deal with my own problems, but seeing people saying all this feels strange. It's nice to help people. Yeah. Hey, what do we do now? Uh, you planning on eating? Well, of course I'm gonna eat, but... <gasps> this place has a time limit! Oh, what? Oh, we only got an hour to eat! Just 50 minutes left. Oh, I'm not gonna finish all the beef dishes at this pace. I need to eat my way through the entire dessert menu. Oh, relatable. Look after our stuff. We'll snag something for you guys too. Don't worry. I wanna get stuff. Oh man, God melts in my mouth. No, oh, don't talk with your mouth full. Seriously, only meat? I mean, it looks fucking great. Now, where should I start? And she's all about the cake. So happy. <laughs> oh, these teens. Hey, calories. Or whatever, Ryuji. Shut up. Mr. How Beatman. much do you think one of these costs? I'll never get the chance to do this again. Mm, the Wilton Hotel Cake Buffet. <laughs> I'd heard rumors, but I never thought it'd be so amazing. <laughs> the Wilton. <laughs> and where's our share? I didn't really know what you'd want, so I just grabbed you some beans. <laughs> beans? There were some pretty bizarre things there, too, so we got you a variety of those. Fried bananas, preserved eggs, and some kind of beans. <laughs> what the- More beans? What is this beans? We put so much on the plate that it got all mixed up, but it should probably still taste good. This is just plain grotesque. It is a pile of slop. Let's go. Yeah. These two just don't know what fine dining means. We'll show them. That's right. I'll need help from you, Morgana. Leave it all to me. Yeah. You guys watch our things while we're gone. Wait patiently for our return. What a weird line. Mm. Oh, looks like a meaty explosion in my mouth. All right, all right, Ryuji. Oh, this part's cream cheese. Gross. They're not even listening. I don't, I don't want a cream cheese in my cake. That seems nasty. But maybe, maybe I'm just... As I'd expect from the buffet at a top-class hotel, 
the ingredients and variety of dishes are crazy good. There's a reason it costs 8,000 yen. Jesus. They have a lot here, but fish should come first. Let's fill our plate with all sorts of fish. Which table do you think they're at? <laughs> Objective. Get some fish. Uh, rice. Meat. Fish. Do we think it's the fish? Or do we think it's salad? Ooh, look! There's the fish! I prefer it raw, but grill is great too. Have you heard, my dear? The news about that Kamashita fellow was absolutely dreadful. All oh, right, that teacher at Shujin Academy caught doing such indecent acts. Chamber railing. Hold on a sec. And they still haven't managed to solve those horrible psychotic breakdown episodes, have they? I wish they wouldn't let themselves be distracted by such a tawdry scandal. Perhaps it's a sign of how peaceful this country is. I honestly pity those poor Shujin students, though. Huh, sounds like the Kamashita incident's the talk of the town. Hmm? Shoot, they notice you. Just grab some food and act natural. On the plus side, we'll get to eat the food later. Just... How did a child like this end up in here? I certainly hope he didn't bring friends. I prefer my meals to remain hooligan-free, thank you very much. Come, let us go. Those were some arrogant and wealthy and haughty women. It's so bad about kids coming to enjoy buffet. I agree. Hm, I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Maybe there are more people we can eavesdrop on at other tables. Yeah, you got it, man. I'm gonna do that. Up close, it looks even bigger and more delicious. This giant sweet... I got distracted. News travels quick. It's already all over the internet. You know, the story about how Kamashita got his ass kicked by some world-reforming heroes? It doesn't sound like a serious story to me. Some of the details are pretty far-fetched. Don't worry about it. We just have to do what they tell us to do. It's all rumors made up by school kids anyway. If it's gripping news, who cares if it's not true? So they don't believe themselves, but they're making up stories to make the Phantom Thieves seem real. And they're doing this in front of the actual Phantom Thieves! Hmm? Whoa! Act fast and get some food! Make sure it's got a lot of whipped cream. Yeah! Oh, we are got it so cute! What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I thought some weird kid was looking at us, that's all. Why don't we go? It's almost time for the meeting. Well, that was rude. Do you hear him? He said you were weird! Yeah, and I like that. Let's get some more food. Listen in. This part of the game is... is uh, it's kind of boring. It's not saying anything super interesting. I'm trying to get to the meat of dishes. Can I, do I have to go to rice dishes first? Alright. Rice is incredible! The cornerstone of every meal! Sorry, got a bit carried away. The ratings for the news are really that good? It was because about that teacher who sexually harassed the student, huh? Was it Kamashita? It's all about how you frame it. You've got to cater to the idiotic public. Ratings go up when you show them crude, sensational news and make it easy for them to understand. How can you be so insensitive? A student almost killed herself because of that Kamashita. By the way, do you think these sudden changes of heart might be real? Well, that's... Hmm? Quick, grab some food! Oh, and don't forget the crispy bits. Oh, cute! Oh, we're gonna deceive! So, because he had a sudden change of heart, he just confessed to all his crimes. Haha, <laughs> who knows? Sorry, but it's time. I have to go. I'll call you again after the meeting. Yep, yep, let's get some other food. Meat dishes! Just phase through this woman. Ah, meat. I'm no Ryuji, but a meal is just not the same if you don't have it. I got distracted. <laughs> When you really look at it, he's just an ex-athlete who overestimated himself. He should have just accepted his lot in life and quietly done his job as a teacher. It's not even an incident we can take seriously. The whole story is pretty ridiculous. We should probably look into it, but we can also just let the low-ranking scrubs handle it. Look into? I guess they're investigating Kamashita? They don't sound very enthusiastic about it, though. Hmm? Uh, grab some food! Uh, get the part that's not too fatty! Yeah. He's gonna be arriving soon. We don't want to keep him waiting, so we'd better get going too. What is he gonna discuss with the higher-ups? Well, I'm sure it's more important than lunch. They were dressed quite well, but they still look pretty shady to me. I don't think there's anyone else we can listen in on. 
Oh, it seems like most adults aren't very interested in the news about Kamoshida. Dun dun! That's the result of all of those conversations, is that the adults don't really care. But the kids care. And that's something. Ooh, you brought a ton back. What do you think about coming up against such ritzy food? I just want to eat. I am actually hungry. I was thinking that too, but take a bite. Using better ingredients takes stuff, makes stuff taste way different. Man. Look at you, acting like you have a refined palate all of a sudden. Wait. Don't you think you're eating too much, Mona? There's no knowing when we'll get to come here again. <sighs> sure, but you guys brought back loads of food. It'd be a shame to let it all go to waste. Why don't you help them out, Ryuji? We should both help. Oh, me? I'm way too stuffed. I couldn't possibly help. Yeah, stuffing your face with cake. Damn it. Whatever. Tim, we're gonna. Let's deal with this ourselves. Look at that Scooby-Doo-ass sandwich. Uh, did, they, did they eat any of it? No matter how much we eat, the amount of food we have stays the same. Oh, no. <sighs> Still more? Don't give up. Let's keep at it. Yeah. <sighs> Clean plate club. We did it. My belt feels multiple sizes too small. Yeah, this is victory for all of us. That was tough. We won because we did it together. <laughs> Good job, you guys. How about one last dish to cleanse your palates? I recommend the seasonal tart. The grapefruit has both alluring sweetness and a tangy sourness. Stop. I don't want to hear about sour stuff. This ain't good. I gotta go to the bathroom. <sighs> me too. Please, carry me gently. Alright, what, how, how? Wait. Uh, my, look at that table. They must not normally have the opportunity to eat such exquisite food. I can only imagine what their parents must be like. Huh? What was that? Damn Ugh, it. We don't got time for that. Come on, let's go. So, they just take Morgana into the human restroom? Morgana no have a litter box? How... how this do? Ugh, I'm stuffed. I totally panicked when I saw the closed for cleaning sign at the bathrooms. You were talking big about eating until you puked, but you really did puke. Are you some kind of moron? What the fuck, Morgana? Hey, same goes for you! What floor was that restaurant on? We came up to get here, so it has to be on a lower floor, right? How do you not remember? <gasps> a masked man. What the? There's still no update on the case. <gasps> Distinguished man. Not yet. Excuse me, but why are you so involved? It's not something you should be concerned with. He looks I familiar. I don't care about your opinion, you incompetent buffoon. When I say pick up the pace, you do it. That's right, you incompetent hey, buffoon. In line. What do you want? Apologize to him. We're in a hurry. Oh, I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? Yeah, fuck you, adult. It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? Man, all these rude adults. What? Sir, we don't have time for this. I know. Oh shit! Don't bother with him. That voice just now. <gasps> man, those were all crossed armed men. What's that bossy guy? Shouldn't we head back down? Yeah, but. Dick really pissed me off. He wasn't even hiding the fact that he looks down on everyone. Yeah, he was a real jerk. It Don't seems lose your like temper over this. Seems like I remember him. I just can't forgive shitty adults like that. And man's voice. <gasps> it almost sounded like the one from back then. What's wrong? <sighs> just a bit lightheaded. You not feeling good? Yeah, that. He almost never eats well after all. Plus, I'm always stuck eating canned cat food. Oh, whatever, Morgana. I'm poor. Yeah, that sir bullshit makes me sick. Yeah, this guy's... Damn it! What was their deal? 
They were so rude. Rude adults in this place? Can you believe it? I can. What took you so long? What took you so long? Why are you all pissy? Yeah, what the fuck? Sorry. I had a run-in with some woman a second ago. She bumped into me, but then said it was all my fault when she dropped her plate. <sighs> Sounds like a real bitch. Damn. Yeah. Thanks, though. But the restaurant workers all looked at me with this disapproving expression. The adults in this place are really I shitty. If we're out of place here. I mean... <sighs> It always feels like this. It feels like everywhere we go, the adults are shitty to us. Hey Morgana. What is it? Me. Anyone could have a palace, yeah? Anyone with a strong, distorted desire. Same for them having a change of heart if their treasure gets stolen. What are you implying, Ryuji? That would be the case. Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? Yeah. We had trouble earlier too. These selfish shitheads who just look down on everyone else. I was just wondering if we'd be able to change those kinds of people too. I mean, if it, their selfish arrogance was big enough. You mean, you want to continue as the Phantom Thieves? It wouldn't be much of a game otherwise, then. I've been thinking. We put a lot of work into changing Kamoshida's heart, but nobody believes in the Phantom Thieves. Plus, those guys who had no other choice but to just deal with it are thanking us. Us, of all people! You mean the P H A N site? Fan site? I. I agree. If we ignore people who are in trouble, I'd go back to being the same as I was before. That's a good point. Well, that's true. You're under my tutelage. There's nothing we can't accomplish as phantom thieves. What the fuck is. What? Yeah, it came Shouldn't out of nowhere. be able to help him out? I didn't even think of such a possibility. But it's true that with that power, we may be able to help people out. But that means we'll have to fight shadows again, doesn't it? Yeah. Indeed. That can't be avoided. Eh, I'm sure we'll manage. <laughs> right? What is that supposed to mean? I want to help people. Even if you guys are still just fledglings, this means we're an actual organization now. Fledglings? <laughs> That's actually pretty fitting for us. Oh. Alright, it's settled. We're gonna catch all these shitty adults by surprise and make ourselves known to the world. Yeah. Are you okay being our leader? Well, I mean, I don't want to make ourselves known to the world. Of course. No objections here? I can't handle all that responsibility stuff. Yeah, I'm keeping Morgana, so... Where's my say in this? But Lady Ann made the recommendation, so I'll allow it. No, whatever. Well, should we decide on a name for our group? Yeah, I just went with Phantom Thieves of Hearts last time, but don't you think a real name would be cooler? Uh, I oh, mean... I've got it. I want it to be something both cute and luxurious sounding. Let me see... How about the diamonds? <laughs> Getting the real Little League Baseball feel from it. Oh. Well then, how about Tilefish Poilé? What? Tile, uh, what? That's what I ate earlier. It's commemorative, no? Uh, oh no, you idiot. That's dumb. Uh, you decide for us. Now, it's, now I just gotta make make a little name that make a little name that only appears to other people. We're gonna do it, uh, Tim's. Fuck. Gotta make a space. Gotta make a space. There we go. Tim's. Eh. Eh. Friends. That's what we're gonna be. Oh, it just fits. That's so cute. Oh, general public will know who I am. Whatever. I'll just call it... My friends. Eh. 
Ugh, I don't want to type it all out again. My friends. <laughs> Whatever. Huh. That's not bad at all. It's terrible. A good name for a rookie. No, it sucks. We going with that? I... Fucking yeah, whatever. Ugh. Well, now that the name's set, who's our next target? I can't believe I couldn't put in Tim's friends. Tons of rotten adults and all. They Why are. Just stick to targeting big names. Like a celebrity? Yeah, something along those lines. If we go after some big wig, it's gotta get on the news, right? You're really obsessed with us getting on the news, Ryuji. Don't you think more people would believe in us if we did that? I don't care if people believe in us. I just... That's not a bad idea. For you, Ryuji. I just want to help people. True. If we become better known, we might be able to give courage to a lot more people. Alright, I'll give you that. I don't really like the idea of just picking someone out of the blue, though. Let's narrow it down to someone we can all agree on, then. Hmm. So we need a big wig we decide on unanimously. Yeah, I don't want to go in half-cocked. I like that unanimous decision part. It's like we're making some kind of pact. <laughs> Alright. This is the official formation of the Phantom Thieves organization. Yeah. Oh no! Our time for the buffet ran out. Mm, okay with me. Fucking full. I guess we'll just have to talk more tomorrow. Oh, sorry. <gasps> it's a flash forward. What a nice little scene that was. It was very wholesome, everyone eating stuff, having a good time in a big fancy restaurant. And then reinforcing Another the theme. Another world in which people's distorted cognitions take shape? Stealing treasure to change hearts? And on top of that, a talking cat told you all this. I mean, listen, I don't know what to tell you. I'm seeing the same stuff you are here. Honestly speaking, that all sounds absurd. It's hard to believe that this is even worth listening to. Still, it can't be considered nonsense when parts of it align with Kamoshida's confession. That's very trusting of you, say. The Sai. same goes for the testimonies of the officers who arrested you. But Wait. so be it. At any rate, you mentioned something more important. These two other accomplices, besides this talking cat thing that appeared in your story. From what you've been telling me, they're students at the same school, aren't they? No. Don't want to give anything away about my friends. Very well. I'll leave it at that. Let's continue on. There are many more events that I must inquire on. Lies and false accounts are eventually exposed. The next to receive a calling card was this individual. Who the fuck is that? A master of Japanese arts. Ichiryusai Matarame. It's even more incomprehensible than Kamoshida as to why this man was targeted. Where did you come to know him? And how did you learn of his crimes when you weren't a victim of them? Start by telling me what you all schemed. Well, I guess that's our next target. That's an interesting way of setting it up, though. I like that they just they just tell you who it is, and then you get to see it all sort of come into play. I like it. It's, it's nice. Mm. Well, we spent all our money on the buffet, but we officially established the Phantom Thieves, so it was totally worth it. All right. Well, not all our money. Just a lot of it. The Phantom Thieves, huh? I'm liking the sound of that. Hope we can really help people. I'm curious about that Phantom Aficionado website, too. I wonder who made it. No clue. More importantly, importantly, more importantly, you see the survey on there? I know how I feel about it. Yeah, there was this approval rating thing, but it was only at like 6%. That's, uh, that's low. Seriously. But don't you just want to get it higher than that? I bet it'll go up tons if we keep t taking down big targets. It's pretty damn exciting if you try and think about it like that. You know, you're actually right. Well then, let's keep working hard from this point on. I mean, alright. Do I have to go to sleep again? Okay. Is that, is that it? Yep. You can always tell when it's time to go to sleep. If you try to do something and Morgana says, nope! Let's sleep. Yay. Do we have a velvet room? Ooh. Ooh, we got a velvet room time. A ding 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 ding. There we go. 
Okay, he's just kicking his leg down there. First off, I'd like to begin by congratulating you. Thanks. To think our master would give words of praise. You better treasure this moment, inmate. Uh, whatever. You have encountered allies who share your aesthetics, and you have found your place in reality. The time has come. Your rehabilitation will soon begin. Whatever. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. I shall explain it to you now. Great. You have a special potential. However, that must be refined into a useful power. It is weak now, but refining it shall grant you the strength to stand against the coming ruin. What are you talking about? That is the rehabilitation cast upon you. Uh, coming ruin? There are various means by which you may gain the power to resist the ruin. Fighting shadows and gaining experience is one way. The fusion process I taught you prior is another. This is all possible because of our master's guidance, inmate. Though it may be presumptuous of us, we have words of wisdom as well. When you're out in reality, you better hone your relationships with those you have contracts with. Spending time with those people will lead to the cultivation of your relationships with them. Yeah, I know, Justine. If you've got time to waste, you'd better visit your contractors, inmate. I, yeah, I that fucking... That is another source of power to evade the ruin <sighs> that our master has mentioned. So level up and also Thanks do to the social stuff. You formed, your heart is steadily gaining the power of opposition. I'm gaining in rebellion. It seems the rehabilitation is going well. This is a truly joyous occasion. You sound super joyous. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. Yes. May the devotion I, I to your even remember what it is. grow even deeper. I have high hopes of you. What is it? What is it? Oh, great. I can carry more, All right. more Pokemon. I mean, I'll take it, but... Yep. Thanks. The time is and don't forget to go talk to your so remember to play the game. I know. I know how to do it. I've already got freaking Dr. Dr. Takemi as a contractor of mine. Oh, yeah. Now we get the uh, little... Oh, approval rating. I like that a lot of people go to this site just to dunk on it. Just like the real internet. <laughs> Wish I had money. I'd kill for a real breakfast. This broke-ass college student? Oh, no. Have you heard? What about Big Bang Burger? The one on Central Street is holding a contest right now. The Big Bang Challenge, or whatever. If you go at night, you can eat for only 500 yen. You gotta eat one of their giant burgers, though, right? How can anyone actually finish that? Still, 500 yen is a steal. Wow. Huge burger, huh? Interesting. Yes, it will increase my guts. But I want to get my knowledge up first so I can succeed at a Big Bang Challenge. Yeah! Okay, quiet down. Like you heard last week, gym class is cancelled today. Instead, I'm supposed to give you some guidance. The gist is, don't go around talking about the incident. That's all. The police are still investigating Mr. Kamoshida, so I can't say anything myself. <sighs> As a teacher, though, I'm ashamed for not having noticed that a student was suffering like that. I'm not defending him, but as a colleague, he just seemed like a normal person. Honestly, it still doesn't feel real. I guess people can have multiple sides to them. <sighs> Teachers have it rough, huh? Oh yeah, I just remembered something I learned about psychology. They say that humans have several different personalities hidden in their subconscious. Hmm. Different personalities? Oh, to be clear, I'm not talking about multiple personality disorder. These different personalities could be a different gender or a different age from you. Hmm. I mean, if you think about how gods and monsters and myths were first based in the human image, if you actually saw one of those personalities with your own eyes, it might look like a monster. It's just talking about personas. What? Hmm? They all seem... More alert than usual. I say something wrong? Oh, look at the happy Kawakami. That was cute. Well, I'm just saying what I've heard. It feels like I just now understood what I learned long ago. I see. Subconscious personalities. It's a fascinating topic and it has a lot to do with us. The teacher's surprisingly smart, huh? Yeah, just 
Get a point of knowledge. All right. Do nothing. Come on, knowledge. All right. Come on. Come on, increase the points. Get the dudes, so I can do good at studying for finals. It ain't much, but we've been getting more postings on the Phantom Aficionado website. I, I'm not proud of this. I want to make my friend apologize for not returning the stuff I lent him. Uh, deal with that yourself. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Hey, those girls. You know that Phantom Thieves rumor about stealing Kamashita's heart? I wonder if it's true. It's gotta be made up. Do you seriously believe they exist? Who who is that voice remind me of? But look what happened to Kamashita. He probably just couldn't keep hiding it after that girl tried to kill herself. Oh Jesus. Yeah, you might be right. I guess there's no way they really exist. Most importantly, it seriously sucks that our school is gonna be known for stuff like this. Damn, really leaning into those words. I wonder if it'll affect our college entrance. Come on, kids. It's supposed to be less selfish than the adults in this game. Reaction for now, but they'll see soon enough. Yeah. If I can take care of two or three famous guys, people will have to believe we exist. I was gonna say, uh, you think they're all gonna be guys, huh? But I mean, that's that's fair. So about those big shots. We don't have any leads yet, right? It's been a day. Well, it's lunchtime. Rumor about you two threatening Kamoshida too. <sighs> Looks like you'll just have to live a normal, honest school life for the time being. Yay! Still, make sure you stay prepared just in case anything comes up, alright? I will. I'll keep an eye out for info on any big shots that might be coming around. Sure. And I'll try to dig up some dirt online. Oh, damn. We went and formed the Phantom Thieves group, but we can't even find a target. Well, hey, man. It's not, gonna, it's not a full-time job. It's kind of a full-time job. I guess sometimes things just don't go the way we want them to. Yeah. yeah. Ain't that the way, Ryuji. But I'm happy Excuse to have me. some time. Oh! <gasps> Who is this? Did you wish to see me, Principal Kobayakawa? Oh, she has a, a, a drawn and animated face. She must be important. You saw the state Kamoshida kun was in, didn't you? It's as if his personality has completely changed. Something is definitely wrong here. Whatever. I'm not sure I follow. Maybe we'll get into your head, Principal Kubaikawa. From what I've heard, it appears as though some students were meddling in his business. <laughs> if they did something to him, who could they be? Are you saying that these students may have caused Mr. Kamashita to change? That is what I wish to know. Even if it takes some probing into student matters, I would like you to look into this for me. Not you, though. It is true that there are many rumors regarding Mr. Kamoshida, but do you mean all of this talk about those phantom thieves? It is undeniable that Mr. Kamoshida has changed in some way. I'd like to have a grasp of the cause. I mean, it just seems like they're talking right past each other in this scene. This shall also ensure that I handle the mass media and police in the correct fashion. Oh. I will continue speaking to Mr. Kamoshida myself. Unless you find whomever did this, these irresponsible rumors will likely never die down. Don't you agree? What the fuck? You have been at the top of your class since day one. Your conduct is good, and teachers favor you. I could write you a recommendation for any college of your choosing, Makoto Nijima. Thank you. Your lineage must certainly play a part in this excellence. What? Your sister is still young, <laughs> yet she holds an admirable position at the public prosecutor's office, no? Could that be Sai Nijima? If something disappointing were to happen here, that wouldn't reflect very well on your sister. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> How wise. It's no wonder you're our student council president. Jesus, Principal, that sounded so incredibly threatening. All right, well, in the middle of the cutscene, we'll, we'll call it for this day, this Tim Friend episode, but I'll get you back in a couple days. Bye, everybody.